So what really made you do it? Just be honest with me. I don't I don't I don't want to hear the excuses cuz it's already said and done. I'm I'm going to take my stuff and just go about my business. I just want to know why. What made you why really you we though? What do you mean what I'm leaving for? I didn't I told you I didn't mean like it it wasn't supposed to go like that. What what you mean it wasn't supposed to go like that? You opened your legs for another man. We've been we've been in a relationship for like uh, how much years? Four or five years? No, I told you I was ovulating and I was getting close to my period and you like are never around. You're always working. You were ovulating, so you were getting close to your period, so you go f fuck another man? Are you crazy? That's even worse. No, baby, you don't understand a woman's body like you. I have needs. Okay, you have needs. So, your ovulation makes you want to go cheat on me. How much times have you ovulated and cheated on me? Let me know. Only Cause once. only once. Yeah. Oh, how how can I believe that? I'm telling you. Armani, you tell me a lot. When you caught it in my phone, I didn't lie. Okay, if I didn't catch it, would you have told me? Yes. Stop lying to me. I'm not. Your hey, excuses is poor. That's exactly why I'm leaving. You being on your period or ovulating don't mean go cheat. I know. So that means when you're on your period and I can't do nothing with you, that means I could go cheat too, right? No. Right? No. So what made you it go do that? An accident. If you love me like you say you do, do, you would never go do something like that. That's insane. Do you want to watch a documentary on a woman's body? It's serious. I don't want to see nothing. What, what is serious? What? Explain. Like when a what? woman is ovulating. When a woman is ovulating what? That makes you go fuck? Another man? When you have a man at home? When a woman is ovulating, what does that mean? Like, that doesn't mean what you're trying to say it means. No, it does. It means, like, your hormones are, like, like ten times stronger. They're ten times stronger. So I'm working my ass off at work while you're ovulating. And since I'm not there, you can't you can't wait until you I get back home to work, have sex like, with me. You have over 12 hours. Yes, shift. 12 hour shifts so we can eat and live in this beautiful house we live in. What is wrong? Like, it really hurts me deep inside that you even think that was okay to do because you was ovulating, bro. I'm sorry. Sorry not going to help. You already opened your legs and he was inside of you. And I'm pretty he sure y'all was wasn't using... Pro I that was not using protection. I'm pretty... I know you don't like condoms. You don't like latex. I didn't know him that well, so I did. That makes it even worse. Like, what in the world? And then you texted him how much... How good it was. And you, you, enjoy, you wanted to do I that. Was, I was... So, <laughs> you was lying to him, but you lying to me too. I didn't lie. I'm lying. You still sitting there lying to my face? You said you didn't do anything, and I went up in the messages, and I seen the messages of y'all talking about what y'all did. Now you have nothing to say. Now take that excuse and shove it up your ass, because I'm gone. I don't want nothing to do with this relationship no more. Please. I'm good. I'm no. good. No. <laughs> This gotta be a skit. In no way. That gotta be the weakest excuse ever. And she not even crying for real. Cheating on your partner is never an accident. It's a decision that you make. She's not sorry for what she did. She's sorry because she got caught. Bro was doing too much talking for me. Because what I don't understand is what explanation are you looking from her? There's really nothing to talk about. She opened her legs for the other man when she knew she was in a relationship. End of story. It doesn't matter why she did it. She did it. Just take your L, take your stuff, and leave. You will just end up hurting yourself more, wanting to know why. Based on her logic, I guess he can also cheat whenever he feels like his testosterone is high. As men, I think we need to make up an excuse like this. Oh, I got one. I didn't mean to cheat on you, babe. I got a haircut. That's why. That's how dumb her excuse is. At the end of the day, cheating boils down to a lack of respect and self-control. Instead of owning up to her actions, and seeking to make amends, she's deflecting responsibility. If you stay with someone who makes excuses for hurting you, you are setting yourself up for more pain down the line. Know your worth and don't settle for someone who doesn't value you. And this goes for both men and women. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.